Okay, I'm going to see It is estimated that 10 to 20 percent of all children in Sri Lanka have some form of disability, which are often not even detected. Sri Lanka has a large and growing number of children with disabilities covering a wide spectrum, ranging from hearing, sight and physical impairments to the less visible disorders such as autism and learning disabilities. Often these children and their families are shunned by our society. Myths and negative stereotyping at times result in these children being denied the proper help and support they need. It is the right of every child to have access to healthcare, education and social participation. However, there is a lack of awareness and access to professional services in our country. Often desperate parents go from place to place seeking help for their children. This is something that we have been researching for nearly two years. An area that has been forgotten and neglected by our society. For the past 15 years, I had the opportunity of working with the Hemas Pever of Preschools across the country and met thousands of children with disabilities and of course their parents. I must say they suffer in silence and these parents need their children to be inclusive in our communities and to be contributing members of our society. We started with this simple desire to improve the services that we provide for children with disabilities. That has now become an idea of having a national centre of excellence. We expect that the services that will be provided by this centre will be free of charge and that we will be able to help parents and children from all parts of the country. We will also be providing short-term training programmes for parents, for teachers, for caregivers and whoever we think that can benefit from the services that we provide. We'll also be conducting research to make sure that what we are doing is the best possible that we can provide for uh, these children. An important function that the centre will provide is advocacy, raising awareness and changing mindsets among the public, particularly to dispel the negative stereotyping that often goes hand in hand with people's perceptions of children with disabilities. If these conditions are detected very early and necessary intervention is brought in on time, it is possible to make a big difference to the lives of these children and their families. At the University of Kailania, Faculty of Medicine, we have a small centre which provides services under one roof for these children. We work as a team united to make the best for these children and their families. Most of the children getting services from this center at present are included into mainstream schools and we are very confident if we can provide services in a better facility for a better number that we can ensure these children will become very productive adults serving the nation. You might ask me, why am I getting involved in yet another cause? And the answer is simple. These children are the children of parents just like me and my wife Yahali. They could be our son, our daughter, your niece or nephew, or someone's grandchild. They are children who bring so much joy and add color to the world. And like all children, they have unique talents and dreams and simply need support to realize their full potential. Giving these kids an equal opportunity is very important. It has been told that early detection could help these kids overcome the problems and also the centre would cater to a lot of different needs to keep their mind in the right track and also to show that they are not all by themselves, there are others who are there to support them. It's our responsibility as responsible citizens of our country to come forward to support this worthy cause and I request everyone to come and support the IIT Foundation. That is exactly what we hope to do 
with the IIT Center of Excellence. It is not about an empty shell of a building. It is not about bricks or mortar. It is about giving our children the strength and support to believe in themselves and to achieve their dreams.